Motherfuckers, y'all know what it is. DX1973. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since I've been out here, but motherfucker got shit to do. I'm a grown ass man with responsibilities. I can't be sitting around all day vlogging and fucking editing videos. Makes me wonder about some of y'all motherfuckers out here. Too much time on your hands. Grown ass man ain't got shit else to do. Will fuck around and ride his motorcycle and edit videos. Now, I ain't hating, but I'm just saying, man, shit. Like, you need to have shit to do. But anyhow, glad to be back, back on Sasha. She was down for a little while waiting on wheels. It's always something. She got a little oil leak. Waiting on an oil pan gasket. Y'all know I've been, been going to school, MMI, Motorcycle Mechanics Institute here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm about four months in. It's good, learning a lot. There's a lot of fucking shitheads that go to that school, that's for sure. A lot of young kids still want to play around and spitballs at each other and all kinds of dumb shit but um kind of makes the learning environment a little bit challenging but I'm a grown ass man so I know how to filter that out even though I feel like choking the shit out of some of them motherfuckers sometimes but you know what if I choke the hell out of somebody that's that's my 30 grand down the drain fuck them niggas so but what's interesting is I'm keeping a list, a, a mental note of all these motherfuckers that that's gonna go out here and work in the dealership when they graduate. So I can tell all my peoples to not fuck with that dealership because somebody, one of them motherfuckers is gonna get somebody killed out here fucking with their bikes. You got some people here that, that miss the maximum amount of attendance they get the lowest possible passing grade on the exams and shit. They just skate by. And the, um, the tragedy of it all is they're going to graduate. And somebody's going to hire these motherfuckers. And they're going to be working on your bike. That shit is scary to me. And for that cause... I will never fuck around and bring my bike to a dealership ever again. If it's something I don't know, or something I'm having trouble with on the bike, because I'm in school, I just wait till I have that clinic. And after I learn it, then I then I do it, you know? So, and that's another uh, advantage of having a lot of bikes at the house in different makes and models, because you know, I can practice at home, you know? It's just not, you know, what I do in school and doing the lab. I have to transfer that knowledge to the house. But um, at the end of the day, when I'm done, I'll probably go work at a dealership. Because there's a lot of information that you learn. If you don't if you don't use it, you'll lose it, most definitely. And I'll probably do stuff on the side. I'll probably build up a, a private shop on the side and offer service for, at a reasonable rate. And at least they can trust to know that shit is going to get done right and I'm not going to send them out of there on a fucking death machine again yeah, be careful when you bring your bikes to the dealerships I mean I'm obviously there's some amazing techs out there that they're going to do a quality job but at the same time most of those techs are trying to fight against flat rate to make any money so if a job pays an hour, flat rate, they want to get that job done less than an hour so they can make money. If it takes them more than an hour, then they lose money. That's the concept. So there's going to be a lot of times where 
they're gonna be taking shortcuts possibly to get that to beat the flat rate well you start taking shortcuts on people's motorcycles that could prove to be very tragic so I think they just need to change that in the industry because with regards to flat rate start paying more for jobs so these technicians can slow the fuck down and do shit the right way you know but you know they're trying to make a buck man what the fuck you gonna do you know like it's a catch 22 they take their time and they they don't beat flat rate they won't be able to make enough money to support their family so the key is to be fast and thorough at the same time and you know that takes time so What's up, my man? So, how you doing, man? All right. You know, go at your own risk. You know, if you do, you know, bring your bike um, to a dealer because you have to. Just make sure you check, like, when the bike comes back. Get a torque wrench, man. It's not that expensive. Just, you know, make sure your, your axles are torqued to the right specs. Uh, they pump your brakes back up for you. Things like that, like real safety issues. Brakes, wheels, and tires, man. That's, you know, shit like that. Yeah, in addition to doing, or learning how to do your wheels, wheel work, tires, brakes. Uh, steering head bearing services, stuff like that, if you learn how to do. I'll help you out and keep you out of the dealerships. But unfortunately, you guys that are uh, getting new bikes, this uh, technology is technology is going to out, outrun the shade tree mechanic, and the shade tree mechanic is not going to be able to keep up with technology. I know BMW already has a lot of proprietary uh, software for their bikes that they'll, they'll only lease to the dealerships. Like, the dealerships only get their software. They need the software to diagnose and repair those bikes. And all the manufacturers are going toward that, where, you know, even me as a technician, I won't be able to work on your bike at, at my personal shop or, or small shops. Mom and pop shops won't be able to help you out because they won't be able to have access to that to the software that these dealerships are going to have to diagnose and, and repair these newer motorcycles. So if you have an older bike, you'll probably be all right. <laughs> What's up, man? Um, you'll be all right, but uh, you know, as technology evolves. Uh, yeah, the day of the shade tree mechanic is going to go by the wayside. You're going to have to bring it into the dealer. So at least learn how to do your basic uh, safety stuff. Wheels, tires, brakes, steering, fork service, stuff like that. So. What's up, fellas? <laughs> I want a fucking three-day school. Good ride. <laughs> Have my music on. Say it again. What's up? I said I love these lovers. Dude. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> gotta coordinate, man. Nah, gotta, right? gotta keep it green. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Finally getting warm out, right? Seriously. I know, man. <laughs> huh? We're supposed to hit the record today. Are we? What's yeah, like? 84. 84? 84 is the record. We're supposed to hit 84 today. Okay. okay. Well, that's good. I got my mesh on, so it breathes, man. <laughs> All right, see you guys inside. Uh, yeah, those two guys in uh, particular are uh, quality, solid guys. Those guys are going to be excellent technicians. Uh, the one guy I was talking to with the beard, he's got like a uh, 4.0. I mean, I've got one as well, but I mean, he's got hundreds. Like, <laughs> you know, I think he... He got a 98 on one exam, but that's it. But yeah, he's yeah, why not? He's a smart guy, so he's one of the guys that he's the exception. You know, 
Well, not, I wouldn't say the exception. I mean, most guys here are solid at MMI, and uh, they're, they're going to turn out to be awesome technicians. Uh, but you, you do have a handful of shit birds out here that you got to be careful of. But, you know, like I said, man, just, you know, basic, you know, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension, uh, steering bearing services, stuff like that. Learn how to do it yourself because, uh, that those are the things that could that could get you get you in a fucked up situation out here on the road. So, um, but yeah, newer bikes you're going to be forced to, to deal with the dealerships because of the all the electronics and, and computer systems. Um, but anyhow, I'm here at school. I'm gonna go get my learn on. Sock a wrench on your motherfuckers' bikes. <laughs> Y'all know the drill, DX1973, uh, Instagram DX1973, y'all ain't gotta go home, but y'all definitely gotta get the fuck out of here, you know, I ain't paid this tuition, I did.